What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Barcode. I'm back I'm with another video. I've had a medical issue recently. I get it about two or three times a year. Severe iritis in my left eye. It looks like it's right on the video, but whatever. Anything with bright lights hurt, so I couldn't be on my computer. However, I feel good enough today to actually do a video. Season four is out, and I do have a new team comp that I'm using. I'm gonna talk about it here, and I'm gonna show you gameplay. It is kind of the meta right now, but it's not the Sierra Perna comp. If you like the content, you know what to do. Hit that sub button. Hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's get to it. All right, let me show you the team comp I have right now and why I'm using it. I finally have level 11 legendaries in Camilla and Poseidon. So due to the fact that they are level 11 and I do have a skill stone for Poseidon, I wanted to base a team off of them. As free to play, you got to play how the game gives you cards. So this is what I'm doing currently. Since I have Camilla, I need to use Chloe and Divine Protection. Poseidon, I decided to use Wadam. Hopefully get that backline stun. He is level 11. After I hit Kuhn on level 13 on requests, I'm going to go ahead and start requesting Wadam. I wanted Shannon and Colleen for the attack buffs. And that's mainly for Wadam. But since I'm bringing Zabrolta as well, and I can level him to level 12 once I get 40,000 crystals, I feel like this is the best team for me right now. My main goal is to kill that back line, protect myself with Chloe when they do the big damage, and blow them up with Camilla. I've tried to use a couple different variations in this comp, especially since I'm sitting three level 12s. I don't know technically if I want to keep this comp or not, but it's been working okay so far this season. Chloe is currently in meta right now, and the problem with this team comp is, is that I'm facing Chloe's as well. So if, when they see my Camilla and Chloe, they're going to wait the Chloe until I Chloe because they know that Camilla is coming up right after. So sometimes I got a bait that I'm going to use Camilla and I use Fadam instead since he's so hard to counter. It really just depends on the situation and what they have on the other side. I'm using Divine Protection, like I said, Chill Tornado for Poseidon. Hopefully I can get a stun on the back line, do some more damage. And then I pop Fadam right after since they're frozen and it's an automatic crit. It'll also stun them as well again. Key note about Zabrolta though, I've been reading over in Discord in the past saying that you only need the attack buff up once the bomb goes off but you do need the attack buff on Zabrolta when he throws out the bombs the attack buff can fall off before the bomb goes off but that extra damage with the attack buff is only applied if the attack buff is on Zabrolta when he throws those bombs out I tried running Hua instead of Zabrolta I tried rolling Lucian instead of Zabrolta problem with Lucian I don't have a skill stone problem with Hua if she doesn't crit it sucks let me know below if you use Camilla and Chloe as well I'm using Camilla in that fourth spot just to stall the enemy from getting to my back line a little bit more. I'm using transfer since I'm using Zabrolta. If they transfer to me, I transfer right back and I pretty much save it for that instance. The only time I ever use transfer aggressively first, if I'm trying to kill somebody low on the other side. But other than that, I wait for them to use a transfer first. All right, so I'm gonna try to throw out a little gameplay right here. Hopefully I get a win here. Uh, placing a Beretta, obviously, so I'm gonna need to wait to transfer. They probably have transfer as well. But I'm trying to get to kill that back line as quick as possible here. Um, let's see what they're going to do here. Do a little Shannon first. Uh, I'm just going to wait out a little bit. I'm going to get that full attack buff. That's fine. I'm going to see what they're going to do. Probably going to Chloe next. Yep. So I'm going to Chloe so I can get this big damage from Camilla. Even, even without attack buff, level 11 Camilla can do some damage. 2,000 crits, which is crazy. All right, I'm going to kill that back line. I'm going I'm to heal up here. Get, heal up them dots. And I may even just... There we go. Hopefully kill that Kali. Oh, Kali's almost dead. But now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide. And actually, I'm going to get the Shannon defense buff. Keep my attack buff up. I have Chill Tornado now. So I'm going to use Poseidon. Chloe's still alive. That's good. I'm going to wait till they use a skill. And freeze. Nice. I'm going to throw this out. The fiery dance. I'm going to heal up. Got bombs ticking. Let's do some more damage with Hadam. I should got the stun off, the deceleration. Shannon defense buff and attack buff. I do have divine protection now too. So I'm gonna wait till uh, Beretta does his thing. Cause you know it's coming. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh. That was not on the counter. I'm gonna slow them. 
you know the bread is coming, so they're going to get some dots off. Actually, I'm going to do Divine Protection now. Okay. Do a little Camilla damage. Your shield's off. Beretta's dead. Throw some bombs out with Zabrolta. GG, Snoopy. So that's how I'm playing this start of the season right now. I can level Zabrolta to level 12. However, I don't have the crystals to buy mana, and I don't have 40k. Once he hits level 12, I feel like the bombs are just going to one-shot people. They pretty much one-shot somebody if they have two bombs on them. But with the boost and attack, I feel like one bomb could even one-shot as well. I'm new to using Zabrolta, so I'm kind of interested in seeing how well I do with it. My Sierra is only level 9, so I can't use a Sierra in this comp. I feel like a level 12 Padam would just one-shot pretty much Sierra after an AoE. These are the skill stones I have. I really need that skill stone on Camilla so she does good damage. These are the runes I'm running, pretty much Energy, Swift, and Fatal on all three. My runes need some work, and this is why I'm using Zabrolta as well, because my Fatal runes don't have good crit rate. So I'm using Fatal with low crit rate on Zabrolta, since it ignores damage anyway, and they have good attack percent substats. My Camilla runes are pretty good. A 2000 crit ignored defense is huge. 5k health, and with the passive on the front line, makes Camilla pretty good. That's all the time I have today. I'm not trying to make a video too long. I just wanted to post a video out for you guys. Show you what I'm doing. Keep up. Hopefully I can get these glasses off because they hurt my nose. I hate glasses. I can't wear contacts till my eye thing clears up. I hope this season four is a good start for you guys. Hope you got some good summons. And if you like this content, you know what to do. Sub, like, thingy, diggy, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.